Okay, it's a little short vlog, end of the month, February. Still got a couple days left. I picked up some chips. Uh, I've made my last payment. So I'll have one more payment left. Be like 100 bucks, and that's it. <coughs> I still got some. Packers that on Monday I'll do my shopping. I picked up a bag of chips for these. The snacks, so I don't know, five bucks. So. Getting up there for a large bag. Four fifty, something like that. I pick up a couple of those chips. I like those chips, they're pretty good. And maybe doing Atari games throughout the whole spring, summer winter. I'm not doing another loan unless if I do a loan for the games because sometimes a sale comes up and later on a sale won't, won't be so I don't know. If I do that, take another loan. It's going to cost me more than a thousand dollars to get the stuff I want anyway. So, so there's a whole, whole list of games I have I need. From, from now till end of the year and then I think at the end of the bottom of the year I'll throw in a couple program albums and then I'll, in the new year I'll go back into NES if there's like a handful of NES games I want at least I know that I could play you don't have, you don't have to be good at playing games it's old games so just have fun with it Music, I'm going to hold off on music unless I buy one or two albums here and there. DVDs, definitely not this year. Next year, maybe near the end of the year, I'll go back into DVD. That's pretty much how it goes around. Star Wars toys, forget about it. They're too expensive. 60 bucks, 60 bucks, 50 bucks. 30 bucks, 30 bucks, and I need to get all my games first, so, probably in two years I could think about Star Wars stuff again, so, you have to, I have to plan ahead with this, if I decide to get another loan, where do I need the loan, if Star Wars is going to be very expensive, so I might get a loan for Star Wars, but, some of those ships they cost 150 up to 300 bucks on eBay for the Falcon, large Falcon. They want at least 300 to 500 bucks for it. So that would take me two months, three months of saving. I thought about doing haunted boxes on the show, but it's not going to be in my budget right now. I would have to stop everything and I'm not ready to do that, maybe in a couple of years. I could bring some haunted stuff onto the show. Uh, yeah, so I want to get my gaming and music and DVDs in check first before I do other weird stuff. Like maybe invest in a Cintiq after, like they have Wacom 1 now. Apparently he's selling for around 500 bucks, so that would take me like three to four months of savings, so it's a lot of money. But you have to invest in that stuff and a loan helps out sometimes. I'm not sure I'm going to get one anytime soon again. Unless if I want to speed up buying some of the rare games or rare music. Uh, that's when you might need an investment. But you have to know you're getting your payment month to month, not just hopefully you're going to get a payment, hopefully it's going to come in, hopefully it's going to come in, and you're kind of screwed that way. Or hopefully some part-time work will come in. But part-time work is even tough, because if you have a bad back, old age, work is really tough. Thanks for watching. See what else I pick up in the next few months. 
subscribe if you want to let me know what you're collecting or what snacks you're buying